Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here, the cornerman underscore MMA. We did a pretty fun video last week on a superhero crossover on how Deadpool would do in mixed martial arts. Um, we figured he'd fare pretty well from what we have we saw. We did see some weaknesses that were glaring that weren't so obvious though. We're going to do another one today on another one of the most loved superheroes in the Marvel Universe, one of the most loved superheroes of all time. We're going to do the crossover, superhero crossover to mixed martial arts on Wolverine and MMA. So now Wolverine, as everyone knows who follows comic books, is probably the greatest hand-to-hand -hand combat expert in the Marvel Universe, maybe in comic books as a whole. Now he has won and lost some battles, uh, Deadpool being one of those people. It's funny, him and Deadpool had a lot of similarities, but if you really break it down, they couldn't be more different. Maybe we'll talk more about that later. So, um, first of all, he has, I tried to go over his list. I, I had my phone, I have my phone with these for those because I don't want to miss anything. He is an expert in, he's experienced in 11 different uh, martial arts styles, expert in nine of them. Now, uh, we're going to break it down piece by piece to see what's effective. This one's going to be a little lengthy. I didn't want to miss it. Um, all right, starting at the top, boxing and kickboxing. Now, personally, I feel that Wolverine has horrible boxing. Um, if you remember in the movie, he actually had a hard time against the blob. Uh, I think that uh, his... I think that uh, maybe the adamantium, it, it makes it hard to stay loose. I just felt he had horrible hands. I think that he gets away with punching power. Um, and I'm, I'm saying power, not explosiveness necessarily, although he does has explained that, ex, um, displayed that in the past, because of the adamantium skeleton. So he has boxing. I would call him far from an expert. He's, he's a puncher, not a boxer. He's like a Rocky Balboa in Rocky 1. Now we're going to go down. Bunjinkan slash ninjutsu. Now ninjutsu, as we've talked about before, has been used in the earlier styles of the UFC. You might hear that a lot here. We got to remember that Wolverine is like four to five hundred years old, uh, roughly four to five hundred years old. So we don't really know. But a lot of these styles, he he was there like in the beginning with. So that's why he's an expert in a lot of these. He probably spent hundreds of years in one, and and mastered it. So. Yeah, black belt and Bujin Khan slash ninjutsu. Um, it looks like he uses this a lot more for the weaponry aspect, even though he's an expert and he uses this in the Marvel Universe. Can't use it in the cage. He can't bring weapons into the cage. Not the weapons that he doesn't possess organically anyway. So I'm going to wipe that out. As I've said before, ninjutsu is not very effective in mixed martial arts anyway. Oh, now this one, this is interesting. Actually, I think that this is actually a hidden gem in mixed martial arts that people don't know about. Um, it's not that we use it. I definitely didn't use it, but I think it can be utilized. Um, Kyosu Jitsu. Now, Kyosu Jitsu is like the art of power points, po um, uh, pressure points. I'm sorry. So now this is effective. When you hit a pressure point correctly, the, the appendage can go numb. Now, He's shown that he's done this. He's actually done this to Captain America to mobilize Captain America. He, he's very effective at this against other hand-to-hand -hand combat experts. Now, you don't see this a lot in mixed martial arts. It's, um, it's, it's definitely not a primary tool. However, I think that we could see in time it could be used as a secondary or third tool. I personally, it's happened to me twice in my career where I've been hit funny in the shoulder. Like right in here, right in a pressure point, And my hand, my... My arm would go numb for a second. Think about how in um, the last two seasons of uh, Cobra Kai, how they learned to to implement that the pressure point um, and the pressure point shots, uh, pressure point strikes into their fight style. That's that's not that outlandish. That's not that outlandish. It, it, um, an expert like Wolverine could totally pull that off. Like I said, it's happened to me where it's gone limp for a second, and then it, it does get a little sore and knotty for a little bit. So that's totally effective in a fight. If you talk to other fighters, you can hear there's times, damn, yo, he hit me funny in my thigh, and I, I was knotted up, and I couldn't move this for a second. Like, so that's – um, uh, I don't want to mess up the name here yet. Kyosha Jitsu, I'm going to give that as a, as a plus for Wolverine here now. We're going on. Aikido, okay, Steven Seagal, whenever I think of Aikido. So Aikido um, – this is more used for, remember, this is used for 
um, disarming your opponent um, with your bare hands. Um, it's been used in jiu-jitsu. Jiu it's been used in mixed martial arts in UFC 1 through 10. Wildly, minimally effective. So we'll just say that. Uh, Steven Seagal had run-ins with other martial artists. Didn't go so well. I know uh, Steven Seagal has his opinions. This is not a Steven Seagal video, so we're not going to go in there. So Aikido, although it's been useful for Wolverine the Assassin, Wolverine the Mercenary, not going to be useful for Wolverine the Mixed Martial Artist. Karate. All right. Now, karate can be useful for Wolverine. And uh, he's he's a black belt in, let's see, does it say what style here? Just says karate. It doesn't say the Shotokan. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a plus in his mixed martial arts realm with his uh with his pressure point Shia Kujitsu. Now, karate, as we've seen with um the Leota Machidas, the George St. Pierre's, they keep that distance well, they stay pretty elusive. Um, it's been effective with front kicks. That's the thing here with Wolverine now. I don't particularly think that Wolverine, I think he's too heavy. We're going to get into that later. To be elusive like a George St. Pierre, like a um, like a Leoto Machida, he's not going to be able to move all majestically like that. He's just, he, he's, he's a downhill runner, so to speak, if you were playing in the NFL. But he has, he has explosion, especially in his hips. He has very powerful kicks. So he could use that karate to set up a front kick. Imagine he set up a nasty pressure point punch to get your hand down to get your to get your arm numb and then just threw up a kick like a crane kick like Leon Machida hit Randy Couture with bam that's lights out so I think that the karate here is a plus especially with that north south striking for Wolverine I actually think if I were Wolverine I would rely more on my karate striking than I would my um my boxing and MMA even though boxing is really where you want to go in MMA. Savati. Savati is an interesting style also used in the early stages of the UFC. It's a French style that was used for um it had a kickboxing origin but more for self defense. So it's very it's a very counter offensive kickboxing style of Savati. Very interesting and I'm glad that they put this in there. I'm glad that Wolverine does this. He's going to need it. He's got to use those legs to keep some range against that short body. I believe that Wolverine is like 5'3". So this is good because you need to learn how to kickbox, especially with that piss poor boxing that Wolverine has. So, um, why do I think this is going? Uh, actually, you know what? There's Savati fighters right now in mixed martial arts, probably more so in Bellator than the UFC and PFL. I want you guys to identify those fighters and write them in the comments. So it's really it's a very similar to kickboxing, except it's a little more counteroffensive. It's used for self defense. You wouldn't see it. Uh, so traditionally in a mixed martial arts sense, you got to be a little bit more aggressive to use it, to score anyway. It also has some Muay Thai aspects with the elbows and the knees, which Wolverine is extremely strong. I mean, uh, uh, we're going to try and stick to Savati, but he could throw clinch to knees really well. So that's a plus. So his plus is right now. He's already doing better than Deadpool with the Savati, the Karate, and the Shio Jitsu. Okay. Jiu Jitsu. Now he's another one with um, the old Japanese style of Jiu Jitsu, which is more throwing and control on the ground for on top and uh, the submissions now his has seen to be more effective much more effective than uh, Deadpool's in the past he's used it against the Black Panther he's used it against um who else have we got here he's used it against uh who else is it oh against Captain America as well where he's able to use, you know, you're able to come out and he's able to, hand, he's very good at hand fighting. That's the other thing. Jiu-Jitsu kind of teaches that where he's shown he's very good with. He's very good at hand fighting to go into the throws, like a judo-esque. So Jiu-Jitsu says judo. So he's going to be very good with that, especially somebody who's going to be shorter for his weight class. Again, we're going to get into that in a little bit. All right. Then he's got Kenjitsu. This one I'm not really familiar with, so we're going to have to read on it. Okay. Kenjitsu is a, it's a weapon-based form, so that's a... That's a wash. Krav Maga. We mentioned Krav Maga last week. Krav Maga could be really deadly, especially with somebody with adamantium claws like Wolverine. Now, uh, he Krav Maga is uh, there's a lot of. I mean, granted, this is not legal mixed martial arts. The eye pokes, the fish hooks, but if you can get a uh, like an overhook to extending the arm, it's almost like jujitsu, the appendage locks and stuff like that, where you can also use that as a as a a clinch game right here, like if I'm having the head here to throw to knees. So that's great that he's effective in that. That's going to help as well too. So he's got four styles, so to speak. Kung Fu, I'm going to call that a wash. We've seen Kung Fu go to waste in MMA. 
and that was the last one. So he's got four very serious styles that could be used in mixed martial arts. Now, um, let's go to his physical attributes. Now he's shorter, so that's gonna help. That's that's not gonna help very well. But he's very, um, he's very durable. Wolverine, uh, aside from aside from the healing factor, which is the obvious that makes him durable, he um, his adamantium skeleton gives him some protection, so he can plot forward a little bit better. And on top of that, um, it's given him. It's given him strength and uh, padding, for lack of better words, a very dense muscular body. Because let's face it, carrying around that adamantium, he's 300 pounds, by the way. He walks around 300 pounds. Carrying around that adamantium, <clears throat> you're going to have to build muscle eventually. So there. Um, what else do you have? Oh, he's very disciplined. Um, much like I said, Deadpool was not. He could stick to the game plan. Um, now... He, this could work kind of for and against him. He does find himself in a fit of rage where he gets mad and he goes nuts. We've seen it work for him where he snaps and he goes crazy. He goes ballistic and he kills people. We've seen him get clumsy when he does that. So that's a, a toss up. Now, okay, let's go to his weaknesses, Wolverine's weaknesses. Um, I don't find him particularly f fast. Um, I find him very explosive. Now, he's got the very explosive hips. Um, he's He can't... Um, Oh, wait, we got to backtrack real quick. We forgot something. Now, <clears throat> why else is his adamantium good for mixed martial arts? Let's pretend he's not going to pull the claws out because he can't. But let's say he goes against a Hector Lombard or a Paula Harris. You know, those two, you know, they like to snap your, your arm, snap your ankle. Good luck trying that Wolverine. Have fun. It ain't going to happen. He's not going to break. He's not going to get his bones broken in mixed martial arts. The adamantium skull kind of keeps away from that. So that's what's really interesting there. He's not going to take too much damage like a Deadpool would. That would have to recover from. Okay, now back to the weaknesses. He's expl he's explosive, not fast. That's a good thing. So against a good boxer, it's going to keep him at range. Um, he he's going to be one step behind constantly. I think that the adamantium just slows him down a little too much. That's the biggest thing about Wolverine. He's um, now that is the biggest um that's his only glaring weakness that i can think of now the next thing that i'm going to say to you is uh i did find out that both himself and wade wilson deadpool they can get dehydrated why is that important that means they can cut weight so deadpool actually can cut down to 205 if he wanted to and wolverine walking around 300 pounds he can get himself down to 265 for the heavyweight limit which is great news because I really wanted to see him in some matchups here. So what are some good matchups for and against Wolverine in mixed martial arts? I think that he would beat a John Jones, a steep Miocic even. I think that the way he comes in, the way he can grab, the way he he could use his um uh, the way he could use his jujitsu ju ju and his pressure points with that low center of gravity that they can't shoot under. He's going to be able to set that up, set up his karate kicks as well as his jujitsu throws. So I think he's good there. Now, somebody who's going to give a Wolverine a problem in mixed martial arts would be a Cyril Gunn. Although I said that Cyril would beat dead, would beat Deadpool. I mean, uh, would, would lose to Deadpool. I think he beats Wolverine, even though I think Wolverine beats Deadpool. That's another, that happens in mixed martial arts. Ultimate game of rock, paper, scissors. That's a video for another day. Now, um, now with Wolverine, uh, because he's slow, because the adamantium makes him slow to the punch against a Cyril Gon, who has a good jab, anyone who has a good jab, maybe even Stipe, it depends on the day, but I think overall Stipe loses to him. Uh, Cain Velasquez, they would beat a Wolverine because they could just jab and keep him away. Don't try to do damage because you ain't going to do it to Wolverine. But just jab for 15 minutes, 25 minutes. That's how you win your fight. So now, um, fantasy stylistic matchups. Um I think that he beats Deadpool. I think that he just knows too much and he's better at some of Deadpool's strengths, minus the wrestling. I don't think that's going to be good to Wolverine. Any good against Wolverine, though, because Wolverine's too big. Um, push you off. Now, let's see. Bad matchups. Uh, Juggernaut has been effective against him in hand to hand combat. The Incredible Hulk has also been effective against him in hand to hand combat. Uh, I'm trying to think of somebody that we can't think of. Um, who could be? Um, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head right now, guys. Um, anyway, that's what I got. I knew this one was going to be a little lengthier. Wolverine is really all the way out there. Overall, um, Wolverine would make a very good mixed martial artist. I think, given his uh, his stature, um, even though he's only five foot three, a five foot three heavyweight, it's, actually, it's really not unheard of. Um, I think that he's got so many tools to bring to this game that he can 
that he could pull it out. You know, the regenerative factor also gives him great cardio, as I said, with Deadpool. Anyway, let me know what you guys think.